Tumeringa for that report and we'll be keeping you up to date as and when the elections and the campaigns happen. On to the next story, the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, Kemsa, in partnership with the Ministry of Health and Development, partners have formed a task force to address the challenges currently facing Kemsa by reviewing its procurement process and suppliers' performance. As investigations continue into the scandalous haze that involve Kenya Medical Supplies Authority Kemsa over the manner it procured COVID-19 PPEs with allegations that billions of shillings were lost in the process, Kemsa in partnership with the Ministry of Health and Development Partners have embarked on reviewing its procurement processes and suppliers' performances so as to address the challenges currently facing Kemsa. A move that will see traders involved in the procurement of the medical supplies investigated as senior managers were sent home in a highly charged sitting. Yes. We need help from the National uh, Emergency Response. Which, Response. which CS? Time. It's good you give us names which for the CS? record. We've seen the Honorable Motai Kagwe. Yes. And we also got the emergency response team that was handling COVID. Who specifically? There was an engineer, uh, there was a, a brigadier somebody, I can't remember his name, uh -huh. uh, who was heading that uh, section. Okay. I remember at one stage they came direct to, to Kemsa. Yes. And uh, they wanted specific items which we didn't have. Mm -hmm. And we were told, they, you know, we need to respond to that uh, aspect. And if we are not able to, you know, to respond in that warehouse, they'll come and take it over. Of the board for this company. Well, Kenya is losing money and building billionaires. <laughs> you guys are, do, do not live on mass. The ministry could request for a board meeting, emergency board meeting, and you could discuss all those issues. But those things were not done. So with the, let's, let's forget all the other issues. Things were not done proper. Chairman. According to the acting CEO, Edwin Njoroge, a reforms implementation committee had been instituted to provide guidance and oversight in the implementation of proposed reforms. Some of the reforms that they were keen on included reviewing their procurement processes to be in line with the Public Procurement and Asset Disposal Act 2015. Speaking at the end of a two-day workshop for county pharmacists in Naivasha, the acting CEO Edwin Jeroge further stated that Kemsa had made huge investments in automating all its business processes to ensure that county's medical orders were received and processed. Carol Wangare Wanjiru, Look Up TV, Nairobi. Thank you. For